Do you need to do Kegels during pregnancy? Well, this is something I've heard a lot. A lot of people say, just do your Kegels, do your Kegels, do your Kegels. But that is not the whole story. I really want to teach you what you actually need to know about your pelvic floor muscles and if Kegels are the right thing to be doing during pregnancy. I'm a pelvic physiotherapist and I have a master's degree in physiotherapy, extensive training in your pelvis, here's my pelvic model, and pregnancy and postpartum care. So Kegels, if you don't know, are pelvic floor muscle contractions. So your pelvic floor muscles are these muscles in the bottom of your pelvis here. So here's the bottom of your pubic bone, tailbone, anus, your genitalia are here, sit bones are here, pelvic floor muscles are all in here. A Kegel is when you contract these pelvic floor muscles, so you tighten them. So if you try right now, it might feel like you're tightening your anus, you're cinching it closed, maybe you're tightening your vagina if you have a vagina, and sometimes it feels like you're stopping your stream of urine. That tensing. That's a Kegel. So that's technically a pelvic floor muscle contraction. And so of course, for these muscles to work properly, you need to be able to contract them when you need them. However, if you aren't good at relaxing those muscles, then they're not actually working properly. So although Kegels can be helpful for some people, it's way too simplified of a recommendation. You actually might have super strong Kegel, but not be very good at relaxing your muscles. And if you're not very good at relaxing your muscles, then even if they're strong, they might be tired throughout the day because they never get a full break. If that's the case, then sometimes you can see changes in function and those muscles actually aren't working super well for you. So a Kegel may or may not be helpful for you during pregnancy. And the only way to know for sure is to have your pelvic floor muscles assessed by a pelvic physiotherapist who can tell you if your muscles are actually functioning the way that they should and can tell you if you need to strengthen them, learn to relax them, or a combination of the two. I would say that in my experience as a pelvic physiotherapist, most people that I treat during pregnancy actually have really strong Kegels and there's no real issue with those. Where people generally tend to struggle though is being able to relax the pelvic floor muscles completely because this is something that we don't really talk about. Most people aren't taught how to relax their pelvic floor muscles unless you find one of my videos. So it is something that most people struggle more with. And on top of that, as you're preparing for labor and delivery near the end of pregnancy, you actually, the ability to relax and open your pelvic floor becomes even more essential because if you have a vaginal delivery, baby needs to pass through the opening of your pelvis. And so all of these muscles need to open up and allow space for baby to pass through. So opening is relaxation of the pelvic floor. So it's the opposite of a Kegel. So actually, during pregnancy, if we really dive into it, what's more important is to learn how to use your pelvic floor muscles properly and contract them when you need them, but relax them when you need to relax them, and especially learning to relax and open them as you near labor and delivery. So the answer to this question is, you likely don't really need to do Kegels, or if you do, they need to be part of a holistic approach of understanding fully how you're using your pelvic floor muscles because your muscles can be strong but still not be doing exactly what they could be doing optimally in every scenario. The absolute best way for you to know what you need to do with your pelvic floor muscles during pregnancy is to work with a pelvic physiotherapist. We can assess your pelvic floor and tell you exactly what the best thing to do for you is going to be. And this is individual. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to write in the comments below. And if you're interested in more extensive learning on this topic, I will be releasing a course soon covering this exactly. And once that course is ready, I'll put the link to sign up in the description of this video.